Hello. We are in here in the camper. Yes. Why are you close your eyes like that? <laughs> so um, we yes. haven't been in the camper. Um, we decided to come in here today. It is Thursday and now we got some big plans, you guys. We're brainstorming. brainstorming. Uh, I don't know if you were you showed what we've done. Probably. Yeah, I think yeah, I showed that we took this out. Okay. Or you took this out. Yeah, we took this out. You, him, because I always say we and then I get a comment like we he did. <laughs> I took out the fridge because the plan is to paint, right? And I don't want to have to tape the fridge, so it's easier to just get rid of it. It paints better, everything works out better. And then now we're looking at batteries. These uh, this contraption that was made here to hide the batteries that needs to get fixed because the batteries are on the side. I think we're let me go in here is a contraption that the previous owners made um, for batteries. And so first we were thinking that we would just open up the space at the bottom and put the batteries down here because right now they are stacked on top of each other and they're not supposed to be. So Jonathan was just gonna make all this batteries, but now he took out the fridge, he took out the table and now we're looking at it and- So taking out the fridge, I realized that we didn't need that size fridge, that big fridge. I mean, it's small, but it's big We're just gonna space. camp, so we don't need a whole fridge the whole fridge yeah. yeah so what i'm thinking is that a newer fridge or at least a fridge from today even those mini fridges should consume less power regardless and this does have solar and i, I can hook it up so uh theoretically i think it would work out if i had a smaller or if we had a smaller one uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah so so now fridge. yeah so now the idea is if we were to get rid of this battery box here get rid of this part of the bench and that right there this is a heater a gas heater that is awful it sounds really bad i'm not going to fix it and i we don't need it because we have blankets and i don't think we're gonna camp in the winter in the snow ever so we don't need a furnace right heater whatever yeah so basically i don't want to fix it so we can just get rid of it that gets rid of this, this little box right here and all we would need all we would need to do is get rid of this box so where would the batteries go get rid of this box right here if we get a smaller fridge the batteries would all fit in this bottom section so under the fridge it works out because ventilation is still there for both batteries and the fridge if i do put one there i would just need to make sure i have enough clearance to see the batteries or even make a tray to take the batteries out either that way or this way i don't know oh but out would be cool out would be easier but yeah i mean I, I, and so what would happen at that point is that we wouldn't have this box or this box right here it, it would just need oh yeah get rid of that rid of this section you can see the split right, right here this here. would come off this would this is the thermostat for the heater this split right here so that, would, guys can really that see wouldn't it. even be there anymore so getting rid of that basically this part right here including this box would leave us with just this back part of a bench and jonathan could build a contraption to where we could pull out Um, I'll insert a picture of what we just saw right now, but he could make this and it would basically make pull out into a bed. Possibly and that's a twin size. A twin size bed. Like thickness, not lengthwise, but I mean, it would work out. And not only that, so all of this would be flooring. So it would open up the space a lot in here. And I just think it's a way better decision to do that. Are we confusing? I hope not. I hope you guys understand what we're talking about. I hope it works out. Um, some other changes that we talked about is we're not getting rid of the AC after all because then we would just need to cover that up. And we don't want to spend money doing that if we don't have to. Uh, we did want to do that farmhouse door, but that's just spending more money too. And we're just trying to be smart with what we're investing in here. So we got a new sink, a new faucet wallpaper we're just trying to see cut corners i guess stay in the budget basically cut um 
the flooring is gonna be new flooring so excited about that too that's the plans that is the plan yeah it's kind of i think it's kind of confusing the way we for sure it, i hope probably. we literally just decided this in like the past half hour we are very quick to change quick plans. to change plans but execute them very greatly i believe kind of people because once we have our mindset it's like all right let's do it and it gets done and that's it so i mean clearly it's gonna take a while a couple weeks but that's the plan as of now wow this looks cool we look like we're hard at work diyers doers doers um so uh my in-laws his parents are coming in june and we said that the girls birthday trip was going to be like our last trip of the year because of i guess like i don't know spend a lot of money it was worth it it those was are great. our vacations we don't we don't take yeah those off. are our vacation like yeah. the girls birthdays because if we're not here then we're back home you know so regardless march is like our vacation time um and j summers are planning on going to texas but that's not really vacation it's like going home with family and hanging out with family so anyways march is going to be our only vacation but my in-laws are coming and they asked us if we'd be up for going to disney again uh the girls don't know but i think we're gonna do it and we just thought it would be so cool to be able to stay in the camper when we go to disney i don't know i think it's both fun and it gives us a deadline to get it done on time because if you don't have a deadline they kind of just drag it on mm -hmm. and yeah pretty much so yeah. uh we have a deadline which is june 15th because i think we're going like the 16th and it's got to be completely done because the mm -hmm. girls are going to stay here we're going to stay here in the camper they my in-laws are staying in in a hotel, hotel. yeah it's just gonna be us in here which has always been the point of this camper just to camp and have fun but yeah i'm so excited and the girls don't know yet yeah i also need to order new brackets i don't know if we even talked about that situation oh so there's a reason why the camper is not on the truck right now and it's not yeah. because we're working on it yeah uh the right. brackets that i bought for them failed on me uh i guess partially my fault but not really uh, I went on a, I was driving through the same roads that I do every day, that I had been for almost a month when it happened. With the camper? Uh, with the camper, yeah. Uh, being super careful about not hitting big bumps and stuff like that because I didn't know how the brackets were going to react and everything. It's still an old camper. So somehow, some way, I hit the bump just right to where it bounced the truck pretty high. It wouldn't turn hopped the camper. the camper and it bent the brackets so the camper so like the jumped hookups up yeah so the hookups or the the hooks that were attached to the truck uh brackets that were on the bed bent and that was terrible so we returned those because we were still within time I, we had just bought them it wasn't even yeah. that long and now i need to invest in the bigger more beefier which brackets. is why we decided that we could cut corners on some of the extras that we wanted like the farmhouse store like we don't need that or not cut corners but cut down on the plan bit. on the budget yeah because these brackets are like almost a thousand dollars they so are a thousand dollars what could have been a thousand dollars towards renovations it's not there yeah. so Cutting so, yeah, that's budget. a big that's a big part of the reason why we're doing it. Uh, I feel like we would have still completed it in time because I am no longer taking orders. Uh, I am two yeah. small orders left from being done with from work. Being done. I am closing my small business for a few months, and I close on the twenty fourth or twenty fifth of May. Um, my birthday's on 30th, so I just want to be completely finished with orders by my birthday. And then summer is obviously going to be in Texas. Um, so, yeah, definitely want to 
get this done i think we're gonna hit it pretty hard once he's done with his orders and i'm doing my orders it's gonna be all about the camper so more camper videos will be coming mm -hmm. probably the first week of june before that even because i should be uh, yeah. done in next week yeah yeah i should be done next well on the 20th whenever that is right i have to do an install on the 21st i think it's a saturday yeah so maybe even the last week of may Possibly you'll not. start on this mm -hmm. uh, I mean we will I feel my small business I work throughout the day um, so after he gets off work we could hit it hard here also next week is a short week for you at work so maybe even then we'll be next here next week, is week. A short week oh yeah 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 anyways regardless so much talking in this video that's all this video was talking but just wanted to give an update because I'm excited we're excited and we have a deadline that we need to meet so it's exciting we're doing it we're doing it we're committed now wait you don't get the reference oh spongebob i think oh. <laughs> unless i made that up i'm doing it yeah yeah, yeah. What a nice guy. Look, you left all the, the tools I needed to make stuff happen. Nice Get guy. the floors open. Okay, well, I was not expecting that. What? Is that in the bottom? So these together, this is what I'm taking off, this whole thing. But these two are together, kind of. Not that I can't fight two staples, but does that mean that that whole thing is actually stapled together, too? Dun, 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 dun. It is because I can see staples. Oh no, those are tiny staples. Oh, we might, we might get lucky. Oi, wait. All right, guys, this thing was definitely built in there. It took longer than expected. That's where that was. This is just looks like paper. <laughs> paper. I don't know. There's another interesting. We're just gonna... Well, we can take it off, but the thing is, it's a hole on the outside, too. Oh. This is access for spoilers. Okay, guys, we got excited. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is what it looks like. Jonathan can't take um, this part of the wall off yet because of these batteries. They still need a wall on this side. So until we get those situated in here... And this cleaned off. Um, oh, just out. Uh, we probably don't do that right now. What? You're crazy. No, no not right now. You've got stuff to do until the way. Anyways, ta da! This is what we were talking about. Executed. Look at all this floor space now. Um, I was telling Jonathan since the table is going to stay the same size, that we might bring in the girls' stools um, just to eat on the sides. And whenever we go camping and we pull out their bed. Those could just go in here for nighttime when we're going to sleep or even in the restroom. It doesn't really matter because they'll just be out of the way. They're small um, little stools. So, yeah. How do you feel? It's Let me do easy. the wide camera just so you guys see it's like very, the overview. Very... Ta-da! It's not that big. This is like the fish eye lens. But imagine that there's this square. Where... There's a rectangle here covering and another one over there no it's all open which only means we're gonna use more flooring <laughs> yeah. but it'll less, work out it'll be more it's gonna be so cuts. much prettier like that okay. yay okay that's officially it you guys sorry second goodbye <laughs> second, second it. all right we'll see you guys in the next one bye